going on? How'd that happen? Good morning, Helen Brahms here coming to you live from um, Katy, Texas. Sorry about the wicked hairdo. I don't wash my hair on travel days. Um, but we are just about to get where the engine's running. We're about ready to hit the road. But before we hit the road, we have to bring the sides in. So I thought I'd just do and do a final walk, um, bring the feet up and then do a final walk around. So I thought I'd just give you a quick thing of what that's like. So Zephy's down there on the bed. She's about to get a shock. <laughs> So up here we've got the controls, the engine has to be on to operate, and so we've got the passenger, and we're just gonna hit the in button and watch what Zephy does. We've already been around and walked around the vehicle to make sure that um, everything is tucked away where it can't go rolling and everything else. So there's the bed in. Now our next bit is to bring this whole slide here where the dining table and the couch is in, and Zephy is totally unsure about this entire process so now we're going to flip the switch here to driver's side and hit the in and it groans and groans and watching Zephy with this is hilarious because she has different actions and reactions every time and we're almost in <laughs> Okay, so that's what, so this is the RV with all the sides put in, pulled in. Um, driver's area is now ready, so now I can bring her bed and put it down here. Out the way, Zef. Move. Move your butt. Good girl. And then this is where, oops, I know, I'm moving the camera around, making some people crazy. So this is where she can sleep between the seats, and she'll sometimes put her head up on the bump here. This is her hook and harness when I tell her it's time to buckle up. So now what we're going to do is pull, the, is pull the drapes up. But before we pull the drapes in and hook them in place, we come over here. And these are my instructions for the day where my stops are. We hit the on button on this. Hit these two buttons. And now the red flashing light shows me that the jacks are currently pulling up underneath. And then the last thing we do before we actually hit the road is, oh, and then we hit this button. And this, blind, this is the only thing I don't like. The engine has to be on for this blind to go up or engaged. And you see Zephy's here. Like, up you go, Zeph. Go on, up you go. Nope, not interested. Oh, there she goes. She loves looking out the window. This is where my phone sits during the ride, so I can hear it. And if you heard that, that noise, you see what two green lights means that two of my jacks are up. The two back ones are still coming up. Um, and then I'm going to, I need two hands to do this, so I'm, going to, so I'm going to sign off now because I need two hands in order to bring this around and tuck all of this up because this then holds everything in place back here. Oops, I've now got all four jacks showing as being up. So now I've got to do the walk around outside to make sure they're up, but before I go walk around, I'm going to be pinning these, the, the drapes here and on the passenger side, I'll pull that open and do that then i'll go for a walk around make sure the jacks are up make sure the sides are in there's nothing sticking out that shouldn't be sticking out um and then i'll come inside and i'll tell zephy to buckle up and she'll come and plant her butt <laughs> she does different things but mostly she comes and plants her butt down here and then i just attach the harness and she'll hop up in the seat there her harness means that she can hop up in the seat or lay down here between the, the chairs she cannot get up on the dashboard which she forgets about from time to time and so far she's done it twice where she has taken a flying leap at the dashboard and come to a screeching halt um so that's it from me we are but we will be on the road in the next five minutes um i just gotta go like i said pin the curtains back check the outside make sure i've turned the gas off make sure the jacks are up that the slides are in properly nothing sticking out that all my doors are locked that should be locked in the lockers underneath and none of them are, are open but lo locked but open which has happened a couple of times you got to bang them as you go past um and then um once we do that we'll buckle zephy in i'll get buckled in we'll release the brake turn on the lights and put her in gear and off we go 234 miles to go today so five to six hours travel time with a stop at Bucky's. And yes, Jason, Nebi, if you are listening, I am stopping at Bucky's. It's not just a must, must, must. It is actually, let me show you here. It is actually highlighted on my list. Exit 791. <laughs> so 791, I'll be getting off and I get on at 747. So exit 747 to 91, whatever distance that is, it's the perfect time for a break. And so we will, that's gonna be our first break for the day. 
Um, let's see, we're sitting at half a tank, so by then we will need to put some gas in when we get there, or we'll just top her up. Um, but, um, oh, I'm looking at this. I'm sitting at 28,957 miles, and when I picked her up, it was at 22,109. So I've done over 6,000 miles in Sparkle since I got her. So that's awesome. Okay, have a super fantastic sparkling day. I am out of here. We've got to get on the road. It's now 8.24. We will be on the road by 8.30, which will be awesome. So catch you guys from, um, from no, not from Scott, Louisiana. We're going to be doing some stops along the way. We will be bringing you guys online to say hi, let you know how the trip's going. And yes, I will be doing a live from Bucky's when we get there. Um, everybody keeps telling me I've got to go there. And Jason put there, I've got to get some sweet corn something or other, nuggets or something. So I have to go figure out what those are. Have a super fantastic sparkling day. And we'll talk to you guys in an hour and a bit. Hey, Conera.